Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Lunar and uh this this one of the videos I don't know if y'all have told me to put more. I'm just recording this for the pocket. But if it's on YouTube and we're talking, I guess you done told me to put more, so hell. Yeah. I'm in here going through all hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's re let's run it back. Let's run it back. We finna just start it from the top. I'm in here going through all this, and then people act like they don't understand that I like booty. So what? But what is I'm supposed to do, bro? Huh? I don't. I don't know. You tell me. You don't know. I don't know. Can I, I can't picture myself ever being in that situation. All right. Yeah. I went. I just say for instance. I went into on that one. Like I can't. I can't picture myself in jail. I don't, I'm never doing no dumb shit to get in jail. So that's, you know what I'm saying? That is what it is. So you can't knock a day in jail. What else they gonna, he right. What else you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, just cause he right don't make it right. You know, it is what it is. And you was in that situation. <laughs> I can't, I can't see it, please. I can't think about it. You would turn me down. What you mean? Huh. More important than water, you should know I, what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what? It's more booty is more important than water. He really feel like that. He really feel like that, bro. That's insane, bro. I can't see it, please. I, that, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Listen, I just can't even picture myself ever being locked up. Right. That's good. That's good. I, I, I will do anything to stay out of prison. Yeah. Like, I, will, I won't steal, kill, destroy, nothing. That's good. I knew from a very early age that I'm not built for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so... I just never even wanted to put myself in that hypothetical Good situation. So know. when I was seeing you, Anton looked like a goddamn. I don't, I'm not gonna say Walmart Jeezy. I'm not gonna discredit my bed like that. But he looked like a mall, like a uh, what's that damn store in the mall? Damn, Nostradamus is that the damn the expensive ass store? Cause he got money and shit like he don't probably he ain't probably ain't got no he ain't, he ain't probably matching Jeezy, but he like the notion dumb is mall version of Jeezy, bro. <laughs> nah, I look, I ain't saying it's to be uh uh just. And he put niggas on game, bro. Disrespect. No, no, no. I don't think it's disrespectful. I think that it's. Nah, a... I think he cute for real. But I, me, yeah. Bro, please, Johnson, telling you, you cute. Get out. Get out of there, bro. He got to get out, bro. Uh, no, me. Not, not in that look. Listen. Not me. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> hold up. Good looking. Let's, let's say it like it. Good looking. <laughs> well, if you was locked up. <sighs> and it's Have I got myself into, bro? If you were locked up, I'd like, yeah. I, and we were locked up, I, I would talk to you. No. Yeah, I would. He said no. <laughs> yeah, I got to see some, what's up with you, right? I mean, you don't think you look good. Man, this nigga, please plot it right now as we speak, bro. Not that. Look at that nigga. Look at it. <laughs> look, bro. Look at it. Please. Please take him down. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Please take him down right now, bro. Pause. I don't look that good. Do you think you look <laughs> He said I don't look that good. Nah. <laughs> Do you think you got a nice body? No. Nah. He said no. He said, please. He said, please, I'm not that, bro. He bro, oh my Ice God, no. bro. This is hilarious. I do. <laughs> <laughs>
Jesus Christ. So you got low self-esteem, but let's get back. Cause I'm gonna show you respect. You know, you my. In- no, you can say whatever you want to say. Can I for real? You can say whatever you want to say. Man. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me redirect the questions first. All of these guys out here, right? Mm-hmm. And they come out and they say, as long as you mind your business. Bullshit crap. That's, that's crap. And as long as you don't get involved in different stuff. That's crap. That you ain't never, ever got to. That's crap. That's crap. That's crap. Just like out here in the streets. I mean, common sense to tell you. You got people out here. They out here working. Just like you and your wife and them. Y'all out here working. Y'all ain't bothering nobody. You mind your business, but right. somebody will steal, steal from you, rob you. Right, right, right. All mm-hmm. this. It's the same in penitentiary. So all of these guys are saying that Man, they go in there and mind their business, they lying. What color bro? A brown. Damn. <laughs> Please. My favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, my... <laughs> no, man, you fucking me up, man. I mean, I don't mean no disrespect. Oh. I, I got. Well, well, we out of time. Yeah, we almost done. All right, give just give me five more minutes, seven, at least five. Go ahead, go ahead, please. No, man. No. Oh, here's, oh. Here's, the, here's the thing. I'm a, I'm married now, right? Are you married? Man, I got out of prison, man. I knew one or two things, man. I said to myself, all I went through and that was an experience, right? I look at my whole life as different experiences going from one thing to the next. I'm never, ever going to get into an experience where I'm trapped in. Well, hold on. Hold on, please, because I got a limited amount of time, so I'm curious. Yeah. I got to ask you a question. So... I come into prison, hypothetically, right? You took your glasses off just so I can. No, nah, I got. I, got... <laughs> yes, <you did. laughs> I just talked about your ass, man. <laughs> Trying to tease me, bro. Hey, oh, man, my... please, funny as fuck, bro. Hey, man. My oh, God. <gasps> Good gracious. So I, I, I hit the, the, I hit the yard. You about your ass, and you talk, you want me to see your ass, right? On my brown ass. Yeah, he could be all right. <laughs> and I what was you saying? So I hit the yard, right? And you spot me, right? And you be like, okay, listen, I like that guy right there, right? No, it don't happen like that. How do it happen? First of all, prison is big on one thing, respect. Uh-huh. First of all, I'm going to find out who you are, where you come from, who your people are. You do all of that research before? Yeah, I do the research. We know you come here before you even get there. They got a thing called move sheet. All that be on the move sheet. Transfers, who's coming in, who's going out, who made parole, who died. And it's all on the move sheet. Mm-hmm. So when I see you, I, I have you checked out first, right? If I think you're a cool brother, I'm not going to bring shit to you, right? Mm-hmm. I ain't bringing nothing to you. Try to have, man, I done saved a lot of people in that prison. Too. I believe it. People tell my wife all the time, he saved my life and all that. She said, did you save, you, you actually saved that guy? I said, yeah. She said, you are so good. But she don't realize I saved his life because I was fucking him. That's Damn. why I say this goddamn life. Damn. I say it. <laughs> Ain't nothing free, man. Shit. Damn. Put my life on the land and all that. What we're talking about. So when these guys come out of jail, don't. I don't want to talk to them. Well, no, 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 no. When they come out of jail and they say, hey, I just did my time and I just came home, don't believe it. What you mean? Don't believe that they didn't get themselves involved in something. That they man, did. if you believe it, you 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 crazy. Now, you got people in uh, the toughest that I done seen, man. You got I I don't talk to everybody, you know. I done talk to all the serial killers, the murderers, the gangsters, the the gang, especially them gangs. They got I don't talk to them strong if they click up, right? Like, you can't get to them because they click. You get him by himself, man. <laughs> Boy, they got some asses in her, though. Them, 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 I seen some, some ass in her that make make your feet turn up. Just <laughs> twelve, uh, twelve your toes, bro. But here's the That's thing crazy. about it. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, that's the first. 
Well, then I, that's why I need to pay attention, right? So, I mean, I learned that, uh, oh, my wife, she told me, she said, I'm doing my ass like that. I said, you having fun? <laughs> she said, uh, did it hurt the first time? I said, Doc, I ain't gonna call her name out. I said, baby, I'm not need that crazy question. Cause if I said it didn't hurt, you gonna say, oh, you took all that. If I said it did hurt, you gonna say, damn. I said, so you know what, with your little retarded question, Bruce for white though, you know, we 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 talk, man, but she knows that at the time I did what I did. Yeah. I did what I did. I did what I did. I'm warning her that I ain't never think a man's ass could even make you feel that way, but <laughs> I love this one. It's from her. Man, yeah, man, you, do, if you ain't, and, and let's say you and your wife both, and y'all get back to go, ain't, ain't here, no, you ain't mess with nobody else or nothing like that. Y'all been go, away from each other about two, three years, and you held out. And when you, when you, when you release yourself, you're going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> So with me, I ain't never had none, period. Uh -huh. You know, in my life. And so I'm in here fighting and all this stuff, and I got custom to some ass, right? Mm -hmm. And so ask yourself this. When a man look at a woman out of her, that's the main thing he looks at, her ass. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, she got ass, this and that. Everything's based on ass, right? So when you go in prison, I mean, he's speaking facts right now. Before he keep going, I'm so happy that he was able to get out of jail and find somebody that accepted him and he changed his life. Like, not a lot of people can do that. You hear so many horror stories about people getting out of jail and going to the psych ward, going to crazy houses, killing themselves. Out of jail. <clears throat> Listen, man, my dad's older brother was in jail. How old am I? 31? My, my dad's brother was in jail 15 years before I was even born. And got out when I turned 28. And he ended up killing himself. And it's, that's, and it's just like he was in a halfway house, my dad. Went and picked him up. Look, my this this brother was so feared. Like my dad, like was like. So my dad, if y'all the YouTube family, y'all I talk about my family a lot or whatever. But my man, my, my my dad's side of the family, they that they 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 all they. When I say my dad did not want us in this street shit at all, when I say them niggas is that and that, these niggas are. Bro, my uncles are full-fledged killers, bro. Literally. My daddy and his brothers are them niggas. Like, back home, like, in Florida, where they come from. And this is, like, this was, like, they grew up in a time where it wasn't, like, gangs. It was your family. When your family was feared, like, how, like, you know, like, when you watch some mafia movies and the family is feared, that's how it was, bro. And not saying like 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 my dad was seeing all this shit, you know what I'm saying? And I, and and his oldest brother was all of that, bro. Nigga was crazy so much so when we was born, they, I didn't even know about this nigga till like I got old enough to like understand who they was talking about and what all he did and shit was just insane. And it's certain. People that my dad didn't even want me around growing up in his family. It was a select few family members that I could be around, like his, like his sisters, like my aunties, and like 
three of his brothers I could be around. The other the other ones, man, hell, I don't even know. I ain't never met him. I never even met this one. Like when my dad went to go pick this to pick his oldest brother up from jail, he did not he, we couldn't go with him. He didn't want my he didn't want him to know like how we looked, anything. He never seen none of us. And so that's how fucked up he was. And certain men when they be in jail for that long they go through so much more shit that you don't even know about let alone the shit fleece talking about when they get out and thrown back into society with no no way to you know what i'm saying it's really sad bro like it's sad as shit bro like and I never remember my uncle. And I feel bad for him. You know what I'm saying? I feel bad. Like, and then this is, and then the mental health. That's why I'm so big on mental health. Like, he probably was bipolar and snapped. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that runs in my family because, like, just different shit that I'm just learning about myself. And when I, and on top of sickle cells, when I start to think about how I was and my mood swings and reactions and stuff. When I'm hurting or going through stuff or in a crisis and the gener like my father's generation and his brother's generation before him, when they don't know about sickle cells and shit like that, bro, you be crazy to not feel bad for them because they don't even know what's going on inside of themselves. And so... On Fleece's part, you know, like, you can, can't do nothing but commend, commend him that he turned his life around. And he said when he got out and they start, all the people come out of jail, he don't want nothing to do with them. You know what I'm saying? And I, you can respect that. And then how he's talking about his wife, you know, and his wife accepted him and he loved his wife and he's married. And, and she, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, that's real like you could tell he really fucks with her and that's a real woman to sit there and accept you and all your flaws and still hold you down like i can't do nothing but be happy for him you know what i'm saying jokes aside i know you know he's became an iconic meme in the, in the culture and stuff but you know just you know under god's world like i'm happy that you know he doesn't have to like you know he could talk about it now retrospectively you know, and it's all fun and games and funny for us and stuff. But, like, he get to go home at night and not think about that shit no more. He get to go at home at night and lay his head down next to his wife. Like, a lot of other people get those chances anymore. So, you got to, you know what I'm saying? Big ups to him. You in prison, locked up. You laying in your bed. You got a, a sissy. They'll come down the hall with their booties hanging out and stuff. I'm talking about Bill. And they ain't like they talking to somebody. This is your cell. They know you in up looking. Mm -hmm. What you talking about? You ain't talking about nothing. And you laying out, you be like, damn. Mama got her ass on him. And then, here's what they do. You sit there, write her a letter. Yeah, baby. Well, I, hopefully uh, I make parole when I go get out. This and all that old stuff. Signing a lot. I was making cell mm -hmm. ready. Now, you don't just wrote you, telling you all this stuff, and you like, well, I'll be out here, I'll be waiting on you, keep your head straight, and we're doing everything in our world to have you set up a good support system. Mail your letter, go right to that boy. Mm -hmm. And see, them sisters have changed the game in prison. We ain't chasing y'all no more. They chasing the sisters. Mm. Chase them, fighting over them, would give them. Man, I, I don't see one dude had a gave uh, a fifty, a hundred and seventy-five acres of land on the street. Gave it to him. But I'm saying I would have gave more than that. Motherfucker, say say damn.
I wonder what he mean by like a hundred and said like how did it get on the street? Like I don't know. Anyway, uh like comment subscribe, you fuck with this in this story. And uh keep it pushing.